know I've already submitted a video of the whole army once it got done, but I wanted to do a quick little one to kind of go over all of the little parts that go into making one of these. So this is a Chaos Knight from Forge World. Uh, I had to order extra parts for it because you only get one of each of these. And I needed another weapon arm as well. So it actually has, I'll zoom in over here. So it actually has an extra battle cannon arm. There we go. So I figured it was a suitable ammo drum for this thing. And then I added, of course, the LEDs on the back, sorry, trying to keep this in focus, there we go. So it's got four flickering LEDs, you can see them down there. They're to simulate the engines. And then I've got another pair, turn her around, I've got another pair in the eyes. So let me quickly turn off the lights here if I can reach them without knocking everything over. As I dance on one foot, there we go. Now you can better see the flicker of the LEDs. It's actually pretty good because you can see all of the little engine stuff in the corners. I actually drilled out each and every one of those holes. Had a little help. <laughs> I drilled out the one in this one, but the, the other five I didn't. His eyes are a little more identifiable too, but the really interesting part is I was able to put in batteries right under here, two double A's. So the main switch is underneath. Let me turn the lights back on and show you the really cool stuff. Whoa, as we die from blindness. So I had a question of whether or not to leave the motors on for these. There are actual motors in here. Um, and I found that it takes a lot of way when it's on all the time, it gets kind of annoying. So what I did, is I installed a button right there. So let me turn that on really quick. So it's pretty cool. Very, very identifiable, very loud. Um, but it's a nice tactile feedback because you bring this to the table and you're like, ooh, that's cool, that has LEDs in it. Uh, and then I, I was at Adepticon this year. I basically walked around with this thing to show it off because it was just that cool. And I just kept asking people, you think that's cool? Here, push the button. So, I'll zoom in here. That's kind of it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, took a lot to do. Most of the cabling is here, but it also runs down one leg to the batteries and down the other leg to the button. So there's a lot going on with this. Thank you so much for watching it. Um, these are for sale. There's a link below to my Etsy store. So if you want to pick one of these up, I took a lot of time to make each one. So. Bear that in mind with the price, but also bear in mind, I normally charge 330 for the regular Imperial Knight, just one of these painted. So that includes the model. And of course this one includes the model, I'm not going to sell $750 as a service, heck with that. So if you're interested in getting one, definitely click the link below, but otherwise, thanks so much for watching, this was a really cool project, and I'll see you in the next one.